Okay, guys, I'm back under again. <laughs> so this is day two of Mount That Water Tank. Come on, man, you can do it. You know you can do it. <laughs> so basically what I'm looking at here is I got to get it up where it goes and then drill these the holes in the frame. Okay, so these are my mounting guys here. Like there's, there's the frame underneath the uh, water tank. It's got to go up in there. Got that rubber band on the top to cushion it when it hits the top. Cross beam right here. It was right here at the end of the tank and it blocked the water inlet. Didn't block the outlets, but it was blocking the inlet. And up at the front end, there was a couple of the, the airline hoses that when they rolled around the edge of that frame, we couldn't get past them. So now I took that uh, center support and I scooted it down and I'll just re-drill the holes and mount it down here out of the way. I have to raise the tank up and then drill the holes in that mounting bracket. I was looking at the thickness of this metal and it's pretty thick. Chris is suggesting that I tap, I could tap the holes instead of having to weld in behind it. I could just jack this up where it goes, drill and tap the holes and I wouldn't have to get in behind there and do any welding of the nuts. So I'm gonna proceed with trying to get it jacked up where it goes. I got to go cut some extension blocks for the jacks. It's sitting on the jack stands now. And then operation one will be to get it pushed up there. We'll see how that goes. Okay guys, I just went and I cut some two by fours made them longer to, so the jacks didn't have to go up so high and the cool thing is a 2x4 fits inside of that channel so it kind of helps hold it she's up in there where she goes we'll crawl underneath and get a shot from the top okay so now you can see up in there's the brackets for the side of the bus that's the actual floor of the bus from the underneath and there's where my filler hose goes on and there's all the wires running down the inside of that frame and this side is air hoses and more wires hey YouTube isn't he doing amazing work <laughs> we can only see half of your head there we can see you <laughs> Hi, everybody! <laughs> Shelly just got back from running errands. So, this is looking good. So, here's the cross beam that was in the way because it was way up here. So, I got it pushed back. And I just have to square it up and, and re drill it and reconnect it in there. Okay, guys. This is getting serious. <laughs> First off, here, here's the tank back down out of the opening. All right, so you can see how that went up in there. And over there, you can see I got my holes. One, two, that third one's shining down there. They're still not all the way through because this frame got really hard. So over here, I I marked them where they were, but I was afraid I was having to push so hard to get the drill through, drill into the tank with the longer bits because they do reach, they would reach through. So Joe helped me sharpen some bits and I got some cutting fluid. I'm going to give these holes another go over here. Okay, guys. I know it sounds crazy, but drilling these six holes, <laughs> I'm exhausted. I still got to get these three reamed out. Amazingly, Joe can sharpen these things on the belt sander. I thought there was no way. I've tried it before on a grinder with all the fancy stuff anyways. I thought I'd smoke those bits and he sharpened them up and they drilled again just like they were new. I was like, wow. So thank goodness for Joe. He saved me a ton in drill bits just on this little six hole foray here. Man. This water tank is going to be super awesome, but I'm paying for it. <laughs> That's okay. I'm willing to pay. 
but it is uh, definitely a struggle working under here with this big thing. Getting ready to, it's halfway drug out now so I can go paint it and then bring it back. I gotta go up there where those holes are, the high ones, and grind off the uh, undercoating. Put the nuts and the bolts in there. I gotta weld the nuts on the back side of that C-frame because you can't get your hand in there to tighten them up once you put the tank up. So, more fun. Just gotta get these three holes out, drilled on out to a half inch and I got her made for the drilling part. So Joe just touched this bit up for me again. And if you're doing this and you want a couple of the tips, slow your drill down, dummy. So after I burned up a few bits on high speed, I just went, oh yeah, this is a two-speed drill. I could shift down to low gear. All I can say is you've probably seen all of that you need to see. <laughs> with the spray can everybody run for their lives run while you can <laughs> in the family Randy is but he's trusted me with this I feel honored but hey nobody's really gonna see it so it doesn't matter <laughs> what do you mean whoever gets down in the bottom is gonna see it I know it's gonna hold our water tank beautifully <laughs> I think you're doing a good job baby thank you I've watched you all those years of spray painting so maybe some of it ran off or rubbed ran off, off. Rubbed off. Rubbed off. <laughs> Hopefully some of it rubbed off on me. <laughs> okay guys, so um, I got the water tank holder all painted and ready to go. Um, but I have to say, poor Randy being under the bus for a couple of days kind of beat him up a little bit. So we're going to take a break on putting this back in. Um, it'll be down the road. Um, so, but anyway, it is finished and it is ready to go back under the bus. So I just want to thank you guys for following us on this journey and know that we really appreciate your support and, um, we love each and every one of you and we will just catch you in the next one. Bye.